Hey everybody, glad you can join me today. Today I am going to work on a project that I have been putting off for several weeks. It's time for me to do the March Pick a Stick Challenge. And as always, there are things about this list that I'm not thrilled with, but for some reason this list has really put me off. <clears throat> but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. So I pulled out some stuff and as usual I'm gonna show you, um, what I'm working with. But first let's go over our steps. <clears throat> Step number one is use something old. Now in my case, I have this mop-up sheet from I, don't know when it's several months old so that's going to be my old thing that I'm going to start with uh, next we have use a random stamp set so I've got a couple of random step sets <laughs> pulled out transfer an image now I've never done image transfer and there's been some discussion about whether this meant to do image transfer or to just transfer an image onto here say with you know, tracing paper or carbon paper or whatever. It's however you want to interpret it. <clears throat> I thought it meant doing image transfer. I've never done one before. So I pulled out, I had a big 12 by 12 sheet of um, scrapbook paper that had all these black and cream floral images on it. And I pulled out a few of them. Um, this has got three coats of matte gel medium on it. Now I've heard from people that the gloss gel works better, but I didn't have any, so I just used what I had. Um, so three coats of that on there, and then you dunk it in the water and peel off the backing, <clears throat> which makes a huge pile of paper poop, um, and you end up with these. And I don't know if this is what you're supposed to end up with, but they're kind of see-through. I would imagine I could still get more pulp off of these if I worked harder at it, but I got tired of messing with it. <laughs> Just being honest, just being real. Um, so we're going to use one of these, and I'm going to use some of the, this is what it looked like before I went to peeling it, okay? So I'm going to use some of these and one of the <clears throat> transfer pieces. All right, so back to the list. So transfer an image, however you interpret that. Um, use gesso to cover up something, okay? Use paper scraps, that's pretty easy. Use your favorite color. That's pretty easy because they're pretty much all my favorite color. Um, use paint or ink and then close the book. Okay. Add a picture. Um, I'm actually going to have this be my picture. <laughs> all right. Then we're going to, we're supposed to do Zentangle or add patterns. You know, any, any how you want to add a pattern or, you know, it doesn't have to be a Zentangle pattern per se. <clears throat> and then the last thing is to print out your own photos and cut them up. So I dug through some old pictures. This is actually from a homecoming parade where my kids were in high school. This is from 2003. I don't know if you can see that on there. Oops. Um, and I'm going to, I have plans for this, <laughs> obviously. So as usual, I'm going to um, speed this up, put on some music. Uh, I'm going to start by, I think putting a coat of clear gesso on this. Um, this purple and blue and pink that you see in the background, I'm pretty sure is Dilution's ink spray, which means when I hit it with anything liquid, it's going to smear and do weird things. So I'm going to try to preserve that to start with with some clear gesso and then go from there, folks. So again, head over to our um, Facebook group for Pick a Stick Challenge, and I will link everything for you so you can find it easily. Um, we do this every month and every month for me anyway, it is a struggle. <laughs> so sit back, relax, have a cup of coffee, glass of tea, whatever is your fancy, and we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. 